Hey, yo, yo, it's your boy Foul Munch right here, right here, and right now, you are locked into VladTV.com. Yes, sir. It's banging, man. The, the reception is just crazy so far. You know, I'm like, I'm blown away. Like, people are really, really um, giving high praise. And it's a beautiful thing because I put a lot of time and effort into it. And um, on that note, it's like a lot of honest effort just talking about, you know, uh, shit that's heavy on my heart, social issues, political issues, but even like personal that I've been through, um, you know, with police in the hood and, and my asthma and how I kind of try to combat that still to this day, you know, struggling with that issue. So not just from a physical standpoint, but the medical and healthcare and all of that is, is, is all implemented in the joint. <laughs> um, now this is supposed to come out for a while now. What, what happened, why was there such a big delay? Well, um, we, we had finished um, uh, uh, the, the bigger pieces of it and we were still mixing and we were just so amped you know, maybe maybe a couple of dates got thrown out there. And then the recent, um, we needed kind of to situate things with the uh, distributors and the retailers. So we wanted to get something really uh, more solid while we shot some videos and some more promotion towards the record. Because now, you know, this is all we got. I thank Vlad for having me on. Because cool. it's all I have, man. And then... And, and, we needed to, to, to wait to the right time to do this type of thing to promote the record properly. Features, production, any uh, interesting names that, that they put into your the album? Um, it's a whole slew of, of, of people that I'm a fan of. You know, I think it's important for for heads to know. I, I love this hip hop shit, man. I'm a fan, so the people who are on the record, I listen to, and you know, from Styles P. Fonte, little brother, Royce the Five Nine, Illis, my fucking in the game right now. Uh, Slaughterhouse, of uh, Eminem fame, big up Detroit. Uh, Gene Gray, who, who's a new record is just I can't even say I can't even I don't even got words for it. And then uh, Jill Scott, Vernon Reed to the producers as well, like um, Exile. On the West Coast, um, I got wind of his production, and they sent me some music, and it's phenomenal. Marco Polo, uh, M Phases, Mike Lowe, Diamond D. It's not just, you know, the whole feel and the sentiment of, of this type of record is not because we don't have the ability to reach out to other artists that I'm that I'm cool with. Everything was was thought out, and it's. It's strategic and it's, it's purposeful. You know what I mean? I wanted it to sound this way. Um, there's a grime and a grit to the actual sonic of the record that I was comfortable with it sounding that way. Um, one, because it was a struggle, you know. You know, I don't want to make this seem like it's, it's not commonplace, but we're doing vocals in kitchens and bathrooms and you know, whatever it took to get the record done because uh, if you want the artwork to look like this and you want to shoot a short film for, for, your, for your project, you gotta have budget constraints. So we weren't able to record in, in the plush studio joint, you know, so the feel of the record kind of sounds like, man, they put this shit together in the big year. We did, we, we, we knocked it out in the basement. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like. But it's it's good though. It's it, it's a feel on there that's uh that's real honest. Not that it suffered, but you gotta go to the to the to the dirty gym sometimes to train if you wanna try and you know be champion.